How's it going guys? We are in my 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E and in this video I want to discuss how comfortable this car really is. After having owned this car for a couple months and taking it on a couple road trips, I think it's finally time to discuss really how comfortable the Mach-E is and uh, you know whether it's suitable as a daily driver, a weekend car, a road trip car and you know in general how comfortable it really is. So first things first and as the driver this is where you're gonna be planted for hours so really the first thing I want to discuss is the seats. Regarding the material this is a synthetic leather seat and Ford calls it ActiveX is, is the name of the synthetic material that they've developed um they're really nice i like that they don't i don't know they kind of don't stick to your body um kind of like leather does i don't know if if you guys understand what i'm trying to say by that but it's uh you know like kind of when you are sweating on like leather or something and it like kind of sticks to your body i feel like this has never happened to me with these seats so i i like the material um in regards to the support um i think the foam is a little bit too soft so uh, it's it's comfortable, but it's it's really soft foam as in um, I Don't know it just it's really squishy and the same thing happens like where you rest your elbows Like on the armrest on your right side of of the driver and then on the left side on the door as well The material that it's made out of is a really soft foam, but the thing is it's not very dense so as soon as you put your elbow on it like you're already reaching the hard plastic below the foam so I think that can be improved on a little bit especially in a you know 50 60 70 thousand dollar car that these are you know depending on the trim model that you pick uh, they're that expensive so you know I, I think they could improve on the foam uh, the I don't know about the thickness but just the density of it that way you're not like you know touching the hard plastic beneath the foam one thing about these seats is that they are not very bolstered so I mean if you buy this car it's a pretty sporty car you're not getting it to be like in like a floaty like Escalade or something like that so you kind of want them to be a little bit more bolstered a little bit more um, you know fitted to your body I guess you know there's different body types so you they, Ford probably wanted to fit everyone as well as they could um, but they're just very I guess wide and and not very uh, supportive I guess is the word um, they don't have the uh, the support that you would find in a in a more sporty car um, I don't know a good example would be like a BMW BMW seats are fantastic but um, they offer you know that bolstering that support and you just don't find them in these seats like I said they're comfortable they're soft uh, but they're not very supportive in regards to adjustability, these aren't like crazy fancy, you know, 30-way adjustable seats that, um, you know, just do crazy things. It's pretty basic, but, you know, it has the lumbar support that's adjustable. They are pretty adjustable, and they have the uh, three memory settings where you can actually save, like, driver profiles. Like, say, for example, if you and your spouse have different... Um, you know driving settings and you, you want to set that up and you can actually what's really cool about that is you can actually save that to your um, Ford pass app so whenever you get into the car the car will recognize that you're doing it from that driver profile and it'll actually set up the seat to wherever you you know you as the driver using your phone as the Ford pass app set it up to be so um, it can switch between the two depending on who's using their Ford Pass app to get into the car or, you know, access the car. So are these the most comfortable seats in the world? No, they're not. They can be improved upon, but they are decent. Like, they're comfortable. Um, I love, like I said, the material that they're made out of. I like it more than leather. Um, we'll see how they hold up to the uh, test of time and wear and tear, uh, but they are very comfortable. Now, in regards to the most comfortable seats that I've ever sat in, um, that would probably have to be the new Lincoln Navigator those seats are absolutely insane like you feel like you're in I don't know like the most plush like couch with like all sorts of like lumbar support adjustability all, all kinds of fancy things I'll put in a little clip of it here but um, those are some crazy seats so these are and you know what's ironic is you know Lincoln is part of Ford and you would think you know in their premier electric car that they're launching they would put something like that but you know these are a lot more basic seats probably because of cost cutting um, you know they put the the basicness of them but um, yeah Lincoln Navigator seats 
insane most comfortable seats I've ever sat in so these aren't at that level um, but they're comfortable you know they get the job done for road trips you know you can road trip in this car and feel super comfortable um, in regards to feeling sporty and you know bolstered and and held in place now they're they're you know this is not a, a car that you would want to you know autocross in and then you're probably gonna be like slipping and sliding all over the place if you're gonna autocross in this car which actually funny story is we were actually charging at a charging station someone else had a Mach-E and they had autocrossed the car and they said that it did great that they you know with the instant torque of course um, it's gonna do great but that they were they were whooping butt like they were beating a lot of like crazy like sports cars that you would you would think would do a lot better than this car um, but yeah the seats aren't really designed to do autocross or something like that where you want to be super bolstered in place but for long road trips and stuff yeah they're they're very comfortable in regards to the steering wheel the steering wheel is very nice um, it's plush material it is uh, it has a super nice design with the pony logo right in the middle um, it has all the control buttons uh, exactly where they need to be um, I think it's it's perfect steering wheel um, it has all the buttons where it needs to be and I say that because uh, for example the Tesla's you know they have the little scrolly thing and you're gonna be all distracted you know scrolling through a bunch of different settings to try to figure out what you're doing but I think um, this has the perfect amount of buttons you know it's not overkill but it also doesn't have too little buttons like too minimalistic like the uh, Tesla where you know you're scrolling and you have to do a bunch of settings to actually get it to where you want it to be on to the next point of the suspension it's not a super floaty suspension like you're not gonna be um, feeling like you're in like a Yukon or an Escalade or a Navigator um, this feels like um, a little bit of a hard I would say harsh yeah harsh suspension um, it's a little bit you know jumpy and you can feel a good amount of, of things going on in the road but you know it is a sporty SUV and it kind of lives up to the Mustang name because you know if you have a uh, Mustang name in a car you kind of want it to be a little bit sporty you don't want to feel like you're in a you know three row like giant SUV where you're on a cloud you kind of want to be able to push it through its uh you know push the car and 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 kind of feel a little bit like you're in a sports car one thing that i would say that is kind of annoying and can affect the comfort of you know the driving experience of this car would be the brakes so the brakes are fantastic they stop the car really well this is a super heavy car and the brakes are fantastic the problem is not the stopping but the uh, joltiness of the brakes so they're really I guess grabby and you know you can you can really feel that grabbiness especially like if you're in stop and go traffic on the highway um, you know it kind of jolts like it takes some getting used to but really you don't get used to it like it just there's no um, it's not very progressive I guess is the word to say it's it's very um, grabby and you know you just jolt forward when you're when you're braking um, so that's something that can Definitely, I'm sure it's it's something that can be improved upon uh, with the pedal feel or the uh, brake feel. Um, but yeah, it is very grabby and not very uh, not very smooth. The braking, uh, maybe that's a, a driver issue, but that's what I found the 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 thing to be with these brakes specifically. Now the next point of when it comes to comfort is noise fatigue, and this is an electric car. It is absolutely fantastic to not hear a clunky engine, um, you know, a clunky transmission. It, it's it's fantastic. It is super quiet in here. Um, you feel very refreshed when you get to wherever you're going. Whenever we've gone on road trips, it, it feels great because it's super quiet in here unless you're putting the windows down and even then you're listening to the wind or whatever's going on outside. The car itself is fantastic. It has like a little whining noise when you accelerate. But that's about it. it it is super quiet in here and comfort wise the quietness helps a lot and it is it is great so to sum it all up i think for a daily driver this car is fantastic um i would love to daily this car my wife dailies it um but let me know in the comments below would you use this car as a daily driver uh like i said with the quietness of the car with it being an electric car i think you are a lot less fatigued when you're driving 
um, and it is a comfortable car for a daily driver it's it's a really comfortable car so let me know in the comments below would you daily drive this car and maybe it's on your list of cars to get right now these cars have a ridiculous wait time um, they actually for the 2022 uh, year they actually stopped taking orders for the premium trim level I think you can only get the select or the GT models um, but I probably something to do with the chip shortages or something like that but uh, I love this car it's a fantastic car very comfortable there are little things like with any car um, that can be improved upon but overall super satisfied with the comfort of this car and I appreciate you watching this video so if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumb da thumbs down let me know in the comments below why you didn't like it but uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video